Hi, this is Teddy, long time don't see. Um, I just moved into the、uh, new place and uh, uh, finally the, my workbench is ready to start again. My、uh, restoration work. So, this is the、uh, kind of、uh, first video from the、uh, new workbench with my body robot.、Um, okay, uh, starting with the,、uh, the new video from new. My workbench.、Uh, I am going to make a short video for the,、uh, answering the question、um, in the comment section.、Um, there's a three、uh, most asked q u e s t i o n So the number one is. What kind of Uh, polishing or cleaning solution I am using.、Um, probably many people asked about these two.、Uh, I always use in, the, in my video. This one is the、uh, plastic cleaner, this one is stainless cleaner, two of them.、Um, made by the company named Soft 99 Corporation in Japan. Yeah, actually, this one, this、uh, I bought from Japan.、Uh, okay, let's go with the plastic cleaner. This one, you can clean the,、uh, this clear panel surface, or you can clean this <coughs> plastic body, but not using, you know,、um, the, in basic. We always be careful using this chemical stuff. Not using too much. Test first、uh, with the small corner and see how it goes. Then use this one or use another one. Clean up. This one is Panasonic、uh, 4 channel AM FM 8、uh, track cassette receiver, tuner receiver.、Uh, model <coughs> Number RS864S for made in Japan from Panasonic.、Um, this one I found at the、uh, thrift shop and coming with the,、uh, came with the、uh, three original、um, speakers. It should be four, but、uh, one speaker was lost, I guess. But that's okay. And after I opened up the,、uh, this. Receiver, I was surprised that the inside was so clean. Sound is nice, and、uh, look at this head, it is so clean. There's no residue, tape residue. So, and the、uh, cassette deck tape belt is still attached and worked well. I can't believe this. So, I don't have to do anything except cleaning up the,、uh, this sliding volume controller for channel front left, rear left, and、uh, front right, rear right. So, I can clean up with the、uh, contact cleaner. Then, probably,、uh, you know, I can use this one for myself. I can wait. Listening to the、uh, ZZ Top, which is 1975, recorded in London. Yep. Okay.、Um, let's get back to the,、uh, the quest question.、Um, by the way,、um, if the, the plastic lens has, can, has a、uh, scratch, Deep scratch, you're gonna have to、um, not only using this、um, polishing cleaner, but you're gonna have to、um, sand it using the, these different、uh, number of grips、uh, water sandpaper, starting from low numbers to the、uh, up to 3000. Something like that. It's gonna take a long time to、um, uh, remove the,、uh, the deep scratch, but、uh, it's up to you if you want to do it. 
you can try. I did the a couple of times to remove the um, whole uh, lens was covered with a scratch. It's not deep. So I tried to remove everything using the uh, water sandpaper. Then after that, um, this uh, plastic cleaner, final touch, and make it very clean, uh, nice lens. So sometimes, you know, you need to work hard to clean up <laughs> the, uh, the plastic lens. Uh, also, um, this one, uh, I always wash like a twice with the uh, mild det detergent. Then after that, um, I clean up this the plastic as well as metal parts. First, I try to use the uh, gun to remove stains uh, on the surface. Then if there is still stains you see, you want to use a little bit of the uh, this metal cleaner. This one is aluminum, so I'm gonna use the, uh, this mother's aluminum push uh, cream. But always be careful using the, uh, these chemicals. You know, you want to use a little bit. You want to test a corner to see how it goes. And even though it is, looks okay, you want to use a little bit of these things. And uh, you know, you remove, you want to remove the uh, stains on the surface, and uh, always make it looks like even. You don't want to <laughs> make these cars uneven, like uh, this is a bright black and this is a dark black, something like that. No, you want to make it even color in the result. And this one is a plastic and plate it with the silver color paint. So I'm gonna use the, this one a little bit, stand the screener and wipe this um, surface very carefully, not to remove the paint, something like that. And that's how I use these um, brushing cleaners or these things. Or these things. This is for the car actually. Okay, let's go to the second question. Okay, for the second question, the answer, uh, what kind of the uh, app for uh, testing the, uh, the boombox tape speed, uh, which is T1 tuner. Either iOS or uh, Android, you can download this one. Also, you need a uh, tape with the 400. I, I, I use the 404, uh, 440 Hz tone, uh, which is you know, easy for me. You can buy these things from eBay. I bought this one from Canada. And uh, there is also Another information I have. This is for the speed test for the wheel to wheel. This belt. Um, there's the information how to test the speed for the wheel to wheel. Um, this one is made in USA. I don't know the date or year. I luckily found this one. Um, it came with the uh, real to real when I bought from the uh, estate sale. And I made a copy of this with the, this um, strings with the line and I put on the, my Google Doc linked to the real to real um, uh, repair video, I think. So you can download this paper from there. And also there is a uh, <clears throat> turntable speed check record. I bought this but I didn't use it. So next time I try to fix the, uh, the turntable changer, I'm going to use this one. This one also has the A440 Hz tone. So <coughs> <I'm> sorry, 
I can use this one with uh, up the T1 tuner. Yep, that's it. That's for the uh, how to adjust speed answer for the how to adjust the uh, tape speed. Yep, okay. Okay, uh, the last question about uh, recommend recommendation of the book or information. This is the the book for um, antique radio, the tune. I mean tube radio. I bought from eBay, I think, five or six years ago. It's kind of fun for me to read these things. Actually, I couldn't understand at that time at all inside of the uh, this contents, but uh, so I couldn't go through. But uh, you know, I'm gonna start again to read this one and uh, find out how to repair tube amp or tube radio. You know, I don't know. Still, he's selling this book, but uh, it's good to have these kind of books for myself. <coughs> and uh, you know entertainment myself and uh, another book is troubleshooting and repairing audio equipment third edition this is also a very old book I think um, I don't know the year um, this one has a lot of information about vintage music gears like uh, like this um this one a track cassette deck and the radio tuner and uh, how to check how to fix or how to think when something is wrong it's uh this is for the turntable and also not only the vintage one but the cd or you know new electronics I can say featured inside of this book so you can buy this one on Amazon sometimes you know if I have a uh, if I need to find the answer I get back to this book and read some of the uh, relevant facts and uh, sometimes it gave me a hint sometimes it won't but uh, having this book uh, beside me is kind of uh, kind of make me um, you know <laughs> make me good make me feeling good and the third one is um, in my computer okay this one okay basic a little bit basic electronics troubleshooting and repair guide uh, the author name is Justin Young. Okay, um, I'm gonna put the link so you can buy this online right away. Um, and uh, in this page, there's a blue book, blue color book. This one or this link. Either way, you can go. Then you can find a uh, the information. He has the, uh, the electronics repair school or class, this book, and he is, he has been teaching the, uh, the students how to fix, yeah, I think, yeah, this is him, and uh, this book comes with a lot of free book, these are the all free book and each book contains a lot of information um, this one is basically tell, told me how to check the each electric component uh, properly so it, it was good for me to understand how to test capacitors, resistors, whatever and uh, also um, this is the, uh, the biggest reason I bought this one he said he can if you, if I buy this book and if I send the email he's gonna answer me directly 
uh, by him, not the staff. So um, this one was sold uh, like a 40, uh, like a 50 bucks for total, including a free books, but right now half price, I think. So I sent after I bought this one and I read through the uh, some of the book and I sent a uh, uh, question to him and uh, for sure he returned me um, about his thought how to repair the uh, the electronics I mean the boom box I was the, uh, trying to repair so it's good to have this kind of book with the uh, the email question system so this is also I can I, uh, I, I recommend you to buy. Uh, if you buy this one, if it's go to the, the quick bank and the price is right now around 30 bucks, which is which is not big. And uh, so I am I am a uh, affiliate of the quick bank. So if you buy this one, it's gonna help me out a little bit. <laughs> it's gonna help me out my YouTube video project. Too. So it's good for you and me. Yep. That's it for now. Um, next time, I'm gonna start the uh, restoring boom box. This restoring boom box uh, again, and uh, the video, the new video will come up soon. So until that time, bye bye.